hell is going on outside my door right now? Who knows? But I'm glad we're starting on that today. <laughs> oh god, that's unfortunate. I didn't know you started already. <laughs> that's I always say, hey, are we all ready? And everyone says, yes, I click over. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know it was going to be so fast. Because on no. like regular days, it's like, hey, are you ready? And then we have to wait like five oh, we've been minutes. Oh, we've been waiting a while already. We're at six <laughs> minutes on my timer. We've just been vibe chatting. Yeah, we've been vibe chatting. Uh, some people would record that and release that as a separate thing, but not I. I have too many things on the go already. Hello, welcome to taking a spring keep spring uh, taking a spring peak session twelve. <laughs> I'm Michael, the host and DM, the most amazing person in the world. However, second to only the two people here, we got Rose who plays Anates and Mel who plays Velki. How are both of you tonight? Good. Good. Did you almost say Velky who plays Mel? I that's did. What I, heard I did everyone. almost say that. <laughs> <clears throat> you are but the same Love person. That for you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you disagree. I see. I don't know if I would make the same choices, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I, I will agree that I think a lot of the time the characters do not always pick the same choices the players would. Um, so which gets us to of course the most important question as picked by Rose today Anates and Velky would they be a dom or a sub oh Jesus oh, no. Christ <laughs> no uh, I am unfit to answer this question too bad I didn't, I didn't expect that <laughs> when you said it would be funny I didn't I didn't know what to expect <laughs> Michael, I am very asexual. I don't even know what those terms mean. Like what they uh, really dominator mean. or the okay. <laughs> like Is I know it's genuinely they're... hard to say. Right, right. <laughs> uh, He's a little bitch, so probably a sub. Fair, fair. Oh. Switch. That's a thing, right? It is. That's yes, not it one is. of the options, but if you wanted to go with that, I would not be uh, disinclined to accept it. I think that's fair. I'm pretty it's sure someone else of... did answer that as well. Probably. I... Honestly, is a very dominating person. But... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is not in, like, towards each of your, like respective characters and their relationship this is just them as a person in general no, yeah that's uh the only re the, the reason i say switch is because of uh his current relationship but uh he's he's a dominating person in general but i think <laughs> bedroom wise he might be less he's a pleaser yeah mm, yeah that's true he is a people he, pleaser he's very much a <clears throat> Also, you can't really... I wouldn't have let you, Rose, get out of this one when you yourself have said that he's had relations across Donmark. <laughs> so while well, you're like, I'm true. asexual, it's like, too bad, this is about Anates, not you. Yeah, I am not fit to answer the question. However... <laughs> if I was, right. I would choose Switch. <laughs> yeah, if I was fit to answer the question, the answer is Switch. Okay, fair enough. Thank I you. I think that fits Anates very much. Yeah, I, I can see that, uh, especially with how Ana taste like flips back and forth on some things, uh, personality-wise, at least. Give the people what they want. Yeah, or kill them. Give the people what they want. <laughs> some people want death. Cake or death. Yeah, cake or death, and or could be both at the same time. You don't know. I don't know anyone's life except my own. Of which we play D&D &D sometimes. How are you guys feeling about the campaign so far? Old question. You think I don't love life? Because this is my life and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I will I, say I spend I most it. of my time thinking about Spring spring Keep more than anything else in my life any, now. <laughs> Mood. It's gotten me through the sickest time of my life. <laughs> I didn't really, I didn't really plan on uh, this pandemic to be uh, 
or sorry, I wasn't planning on this campaign to be like my coping mechanism through a pandemic, but here we are. I meant literally the last week. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> last week and a half I've been dying. I, I, knew, I knew what you meant, though. It's fine. What about you, Rose? I know you play a lot of D&D. How are you yeah, feeling about say, this? I play a lot of Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, no, it's good. It's a lot of fun. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad, uh, Glad it's been fun. It's my first time really DMing, and I know I bring this up a lot, but I'm always worried that it's not a good time. But Every if it wasn't a good time, that. would we keep coming back for more? Yes, because you all are too nice. Uh, no, no, he's right. He's right. I mean, you, you do have a fair point, but would I give so many long answers to all of your questions if I didn't care. <laughs> and she's got a point too. No, she does have a point. <laughs> However, on the point of would all of you still come if you weren't having fun, the answer is yes. Yeah, okay. You're right. I always come, Michael. Yeah. So but same. Um <clears throat> so I believe it was brought up earlier while we were waiting to start that we haven't had Rose on since Morgan Wald in the puddle. Um on a taste got called out by Velky after that uh Noel fight. Um no. and, what what time? <laughs> on a taste gets called out a lot. It's yeah. Um sometimes it's unintentional. Yeah. And we know that on a taste was kind of going through a bit of a funk. Um what what is kind of the source of that funk? Is this is it the stuff going on with like in the background with like the Sangus thing, is it the fact that he's not always fully in control of his actions? I know we're past that now with uh the big talk and everyone and on a taste is on a taste, but what was kind of the cause of that funk? So it's funny actually, I was just thinking that we seem to only have me on when on a taste goes through like a big turning point in his character. <laughs> um that's just really funny. Uh so was the cause of the big funk. So many factors. Uh, the big one is the whole Sangus thing and the idea that he is capable of being that person. Mm -hmm. Even though everybody keeps telling him he isn't. But the idea that he sees a potential possibility where he is that person. And also uh, part of like his his kind of budding relationship esque thing with uh, with Felky from the Morganwell conversation. Uh that kinda had him he was thinking about that a lot. But a lot of it was just the potential to be what he sees as the worst possible person. Now, here's a follow-up question to that. Is it scarier that he was that before, or that he could be that in the future? That he could be that in the future. Fair. Yeah. He's, he's content with the fact that that person existed, and that he may have came from that person. It's the idea that he knows that that's still there from those darker moments and the idea that that could become the complete reality and not just like 10 minute intervals is what terrifies him. So then what's the goal on him trying to delve deep inside his psyche and talk to his shadow self? He wants he wants like he doesn't want what's happening right now where it's like his body's like a timeshare. He d he doesn't want like the dark. It's dark a B and E, <laughs> or not a B and E. Uh, Airbnb. Yeah, an Airbnb. Yeah, Airbnb. Would he prefer it to be a pyramid scheme? He doesn't want yes. like. He doesn't want like he's in control, and then somebody dies, and suddenly he's robbing people and threatening to stab his friends. He wants to find a happy medium where he's still him, but he doesn't have to worry about these flashes. Right. I'm sorry. That's not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> Spoiler. Jeez. No, I'm not going to get rid of a game mechanic right away. 
We're only in arc three. <laughs> That's like when you're at level 15 or some shit. Oh, God. Imagine. Years. Well, I mean, yeah, so many <laughs> years. I, I have divulged to Callie and then Callie to Mel that you guys can get some two quick levels yeah, here. any permission, she just simply spoke. I love her. <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh, by the way, possible two quick levels here. I mean, there's only so many, there's only so many locations for me to put things. There's only 33 towns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no. Um, I mean, it would have been a lot more uh, if uh, we saw some of the other characters that were initially involved. Since, like, a lot more people were initially from uh, Freya Noon. But yeah. So anyway... Um, I wasn't expecting this. You guys really like animals, huh? You've yeah. collected two horses, uh, and chicken. I mean, there's like five chickens now. Yeah, Four chickens. Sorry. Belky only wanted one. <laughs> and now there's many. Good luck <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> or you know what? Maybe I'll wake up perfectly on time. No, it's roosters that I do that. Not chickens. Yeah, I mean, it just just put a just put a sheet over their cage. They'll be fine. <clears throat> They'll think it's night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All you have to deal with is like the clucking throughout the day. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> Do you plan on collecting any other animals? Um, is on a taste count? Uh sometimes. Only when he feels like it. Yeah, there collect so many onatases. I know oh, we yeah. joked that you're gonna have a caravan of animals, but it'd be really funny if it's like, here's the person cart and here's our animal cart. When I get that <laughs> subclass change to circle the moon, that then I'll count. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh man, going to circle the moon would be weird in this setting. It really would. <laughs> <laughs> Moving in on Shatir's territory. The stars come to the moon. I, I never realized that we actually have the three celestial bodies in play at the moment of Shatir for the moon, Wish for the sun, and Votion for the stars. Um, it wasn't until I was going through my notes. I was like, huh, that's weird. I wasn't planning on that. Yeah, I feel like we talked about that once. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. There's gods that could have been of so many other things and somehow all the celestial bodies got in, got intertwined. Well, they're very prominent in your day-to-day -day life they are you know every day the sun rises uh every night the moon rises every night there's never a time when the moon isn't in the sky for me well i mean even a new moon this this fucking moon is still there <laughs> yeah yeah um so velk you got a puzzle box yep broke it Kind of, yeah. Um, put off at all by the voice in your head after that one? Absolutely. It's fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why he hasn't touched it since or just too busy? We have literally not had much downtime. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been shopping and running. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been a lot of shopping and then a lot of running. Are you guys going to run away from Hawk Crescent too? Hopefully not sick of running away from places i would like to you know <laughs> leave on good terms <laughs> meander yeah <laughs> this time though was really fun at least it wasn't for almost murder yeah um i did want to say it was really nice to see the big change where um Valky saw something that could have caused a problem for Kashana, and then y'all kind of all banded together to kind of fix that problem. Usually it's the other way around of Kashana causing one. Um, right? So it's just, it was really nice to see how far the group has come in terms of friendship and camaraderie. Thank you. I thought it would be a nice moment. <laughs> it was. It was really nice. I, I really liked that Velky was the one that came forward and said, hey, we might have a problem here. some reason the music He's just gonna stopped. try his best from now on <laughs> yeah because you guys did just have that big fight with the blight juice incident 
Um, I know you guys have all figured that out and understand why now Kashana is the way she is, um, at least in the sense of not giving out her name. Um, how is Velky feeling about the revelations that were come about from that blade juice? Um, good <clears throat> question. Well met deserves an answer. Right, right. <laughs> Um, well, do you need a moment to think nice. about that? Just uh, maybe. Come back to me in like a hot okay. ticky. In one tick, we'll come back to you, Rose. Boy. Further Boy. down that line, Anate's called on Votion and got to see dear old dad for a second um, and actually got to see souls. How's that feel? Ooh. Uh. You know, I never really stopped to think about how Anate's felt about that. Uh, I think he'd... He already sort of... So he has this thing where he feels sort of a base kinship with, like, everybody. Right. And I think that comes from his roots uh but i think the idea of getting to see souls i think that's something he'd be interested in doing again i don't know if, if that'll ever be possible again but that was an incredible role on your part i mean <laughs> he he liked the idea of being able to see like the essence of somebody right it was very interesting to have. Do you think he'd maybe want to be able to do that, say, in a mirror? Oh, a hundred percent. I don't know exactly how mirrors would work in that sense. Um, what a suggestion! Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, like he might actually <laughs> have to try Michael. that. <laughs> uh, like I said, I don't know how that would work with the mirror. I mean, usually when stuff like that happens, it's usually a case of oh, you can't use it on yourself, kind of thing. You can um, still try, though. Yeah, you can still try. There's probably a lot of mirrors in the world. Or maybe it works on, like, vampire terms, and because it's uh, got silver lining, it doesn't work. Yeah, maybe. But no, you got well, to see... You uh always look at your reflection in the water. Boom. Problem solved. Oh, you're right. There's other reflections in the world. <clears throat> such as, ovens, for Such example. as Madame Ina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but you also got to see, like, the glimpse of, like, a god in someone that way, too, with uh, Oticus's essence being around Kashana's soul. So that's got to have been fun. Yeah. <laughs> good, old, good old Uncle Oticus. Uncle Oticus. Whoa. Well, like, try, like, if it, like, a Votion's dad. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. get it. It's just like, that kind of all I, guess the, I guess the other <laughs> gods would be aunts and uncles. That's fair. Extended family. Or, like, second cousin, because I think he, I think he referred to, like, I don't think Votion used the word cousin, but for some reason I feel like he referred to Otticus and Shatir as his cousins. We, uh, we do know that Shatir specifically has a sister. Yes, we do know that. So there uh, are family relations yeah. within the gods. I wish Velky knew that. I want him to know that so bad. So like <laughs> Uncle, yeah. For now, I'll stick. I'll stick with un Uncle Otticus. Sure, why not? Yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, please uh, say that to Callie once in game. I'm sure she'd love it. Well, maybe. Uh, Uncle Oddy. Yeah, it was. It was wild. He likes anything that he can learn about the gods mm -hmm. and his just sort of general connection to them. Right. No, I I'm glad that you're enjoying that. Uh, was that a long enough tick there for you, Mel? Or should I mark yeah. another box off? Nope. The answer is he doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that coupled with, and you brought up the moment with the souls and everything where Velky also mm -hmm. tried. Um, so that coupled with that time where he heard those voices he's never gotten to hear before. That's yeah. Bucky. He doesn't know how to feel. Two voices. 
Too too hard to understand though. Really confused all of the time. It's like you think everything is one way and then you walk outside and you're like, oh it's snowing. Great. Yeah, Saturday. <laughs> you think it's gonna be sunny and fantastic, but it isn't sunny and fantastic. I mean, it, it's sunny and fantastic, I would say, like, 70% of the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then it's just not. <laughs> I can't remember how much I revealed to you ahead of time for you to have signed up for on this one. Because um, I feel like there was some I things mean, where I'm like, this is going to be a ride. Yeah, you pretty much just warn me sometimes that shit's going to go down, and then other times you're like, enjoy suffering. <laughs> <clears throat> to be fair, I could not possibly have predicted you guys would try to call on the gods to look at a soul. No, and you're right, and I really liked that moment. It was spicy. Mm -hmm. Very spicy. Good shit. Very good shit. We wouldn't have gotten as high as we did without those guidances, so I was very pleased. Guiding each other. Yeah, yeah I do. I very much love that we decided to guide guidance each other instead of just casting it on ourselves. Dual clerics, always fun. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, double guidance, two d fours, go. <clears throat> yeah, delicious. Very delicious. Um, so since you're now both tied into like religion and stuff more, should I be expecting some delves into the churches again? Um, just to define delve. Uh, because Velky tries to go to every church and he's very upset that he couldn't go to the church where they just were <laughs> right yes no that didn't end up happening that's true um, yeah I actually didn't realize that you've been to almost every church uh, you did not go to the church in Arden Path either at least I don't think we did yeah depending on like, what you I don't know I don't think we I know we stopped at the one for Wish um yes okay that's that's definitely a thing that happened yeah but i don't think we ever stopped at that one that's okay well thanks for reminding me because now i know that i have to yeah <laughs> i thought i did but i could very well be wrong step one suspicious potatoes step two that church let me quickly look up because if i see the name i'll know if it came into play hello google docs that's that that's the right one uh, Risen, not Risen, Arden Path. Da, ba, da, da, ba, da. No, we definitely have not. Oh, God, excuse me. And also, okay, well, now I know. Yeah. No, that's fair. I mean, you don't have to go to every church. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna. <laughs> Speaking of other churches. Everyone's favorite teenage, uh, I guess you don't really know what they are, church people. Uh, Kate and Kat from the Church of Sympath. God, I want that dragon board to show up so much you don't understand, <laughs> Michael. I also want him to show up just so I can see what Rose wants to do to him. I, I, I had to do up. it to him. You want to beat him up? Why? <laughs> he did so nothing rude. wrong. He was a little rude. I don't a think little. I'll get. To, I don't think I'll get to beat him up, but I want to beat him up. <laughs> he was a little rude. Not even, not even like actively rude. Just did not acknowledge. He was pretty. That's rude. that's actively rude. You have to actively not acknowledge someone, Michael. That's literally the definition of actively ah, rude. <laughs> it was fine. He was on a mission. The mission was <laughs> oh, hot man, right there. What? Yeah, I want to taste. When was that the mission? Uh, the moment he saw on a taste. That did not come across to me personally. I, I didn't. That point I, I didn't get that context at all. Yeah, no, I think y'all were a little focused on the whole not talking to Velky thing. Damn. So this is going to get really weird when I confront him finally. <laughs> That's extra funny now. Yeah, no, and now I want to see that flirt happen. <laughs> Weirdly sexually charged encounter now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's been really funny for me this whole time. 
Yeah, I did not get that context at all. <laughs> Amazing. Love that. No, yeah. I mean, other mission as well, there was the reason they were going to Haywood in the first place, but uh, nonetheless, <laughs> Caravan, Travelers, oh, hot man right there. Fucking wild. I was, I did initially plan for you guys to stay the night with them so you could have learned more. Um, but y'all decided to just move on. You mean so we could have actually seen him flirt with Anate? Uh, yeah, and I kind of expected you guys to, like, delve a little bit more into why he was being standoffish with Velky. We learned why now, but I kind of expected that to come up back then. You are correct uh, in the chat, Matt, except instead of my honor, it would be... Uh, Velky's honor. Yeah. Velky's honor. You, have, you have offended though, Velky's I remember, honor, I challenge you. <laughs> I remember that we really wanted to get Jaren. So I remember yes. that's why we were rushing uh, so we, much. We, were we rushing wanted Jericho to get there. We wanted to make sure Jericho could get in yeah. and have yeah. some fun. So there was, there was a motive to the rush. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, I remember that now. We did need to get to Jericho as soon as possible. Um, so if we weren't in a rush, I would have caught on to this subtext. No, I wouldn't have. <laughs> it probably would have become more and more obvious as the time went on. Um, but yeah, no. This is rapidly becoming text. Yeah, uh, suddenly the space between the lines become the actual lines. Son of a gun, there it is. <laughs> that would have been really funny. I, I wonder, I want to know how Anate's would have taken <laughs> So uh, bad. Much, much different than how he'll take it now. Yeah. Uh, but no, like I different. said, like I, I knew you guys were probably going to, or there would at least be some issue with... Um, with him being rude to Velky, but like I said, I kind of initially planned that encounter to be like you spend the night with them and learn a little bit about Sympath and everything, so. Um, he shouldn't have been a bitch then. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. No, that's fine. Imagine not being a little bitch. <laughs> it would be weird for me, me to, I don't know, it could be fun that um, I just never bring him back again. But oh, Michael, I, think, please. I think we should at some point. We're going to probably have to anyway. I need to explain what happened after you guys left Haywood after all. Michael, I swear to God, you better give him back to me. <laughs> it's just like if courage never shows up again, I will literally hemorrhage at the scenes. <laughs> I think that I might walk over to Michael's house with my two shitty legs and beat the hell out of him. I, I like the idea that every person Anates puts on his list of enemies just never appear. We're, you're gonna run out of NPCs! <laughs> no, I just killed oh, him does, off screen. Oh, does that mean when we go back to Risen, Barry will have moved? <laughs> Because Maybe they would have jailed her. Because <laughs> Jail my, my, list, my list of enemies is that Dragonborn, Barry, Courage, and Delphi. Yeah. They all die off screen. And Delphi's only <laughs> on there. You can't kill Delphi. Del <laughs> Delphi's only on there because I keep forgetting to take him off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like this idea of this little rivalry. No, the, the thing there isn't that you're his enemy. Uh, no, that you're that. Uh, backwards. He's not your enemy, you're his enemy. He's still mad at me for stabbing him in the leg. Yeah, he's he's that's why he's practicing. He's gonna get his revenge. Oh, shit. Yeah, Jesus Christ. All he needs to Damn, do is stab Delphi. you in the leg one time without you realizing it's gonna happen. Damn. <laughs> I like the idea that he's like that's why he's like training knives and arrows and stuff in the backyard. He's preparing for his next encounter with on its safe. Yeah. <laughs> We I'm have a we have a little color. flashback of uh, Ciara helping him learn how to aim better. Um, oh, you do not want to go to Ciara for aiming. I don't know. Just I like this <laughs> idea of your other character helping him take out this character. If anything, she would teach him how to bite on Atesa's ankles. She, when you, she'd be like, ah, she'd when be like, you ah, run out of right. things to throw, you bite. Your enemy is a lot bigger than you are. And you go for the ankles. <laughs> Uh, like Velky actually agrees. Velky, Velky agrees with Ciara. You have to bite sometimes. Yeah, go for the ankles. Unfortunately, sometimes they're tiny, and you have to beat them up by eating their ankles. Just funny because Ciara is like just a little bit shorter than it is. And Delphi does not have sharp teeth like Velky. 
or see a hard Look, All you need is a, the best angle and I mean, bite bite, power. biting hurts no matter what. Exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, any theories from the peanut gallery on what's inside of that puzzle box? Death. A a smooth talking man with a lot of sharp objects in his head. <laughs> oh. Why would you say that? <laughs> to say something so controversial and I so brave. I still have not watched Hellraiser. Oh, okay, good. We caught that it was a pinhead thing. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. absolutely. No, yeah, of course I do. <laughs> after the whole thing with Dead by Daylight, I'll never forget who Pinhead is now. That's fair. Um, that game I'll never play again, unfortunately. Look, every every puzzle box in every setting is a lament configuration to me, even if that isn't what it is. Does anybody I remember do. what the voice said off the top of their head? I do not. Uh, it wanted to find something. Someone. That's a good assumption. Or it misses someone. I wish I could remember the exact wording, but I was too busy eating shit. So. No, that's fair. The exact wording was, I need to see her again. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, see? That's yeah. pretty much what he said. Yeah, that's, like I said, fair assumption. Um, yeah, no. Uh, real answer from Rose on that one. What do you think's in the puzzle box? Well, considering a voice, like, I need to see someone, I actually think it might be, like, a spirit or, or like, a familiar of some kind or, like, maybe a person. Not I mean, Pinhead, really but, I think fucking... it, but I think it might actually be, like, a sentient being. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. It's, it's just gonna... It's Pandora's box and we're all gonna die. <laughs> I can't wait for it to take over my body. No, I wouldn't do that to multiple characters in one session. In one campaign, I mean. What, what do you mean? Oh, we almost we almost had that happen with Onatase. Oh, well, yeah. And it might but that still. Would be like, I mean, you like, know I'm what? I'm talking if... for like a second. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? If Velky beats Onatase to it, I guess I gotta rewrite what can happen to Onatase. Yeah, I, I, well, oh, I, mean, I, I, I did just say, I was like, damn. it might still happen. Yeah. Now it's a race. Look, Velky would preferably like to not have whatever's in the puzzle box eat his ass or his soul. Um, so, you know. Oh, you just need to then drink another one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that looks like another puzzle box? Yeah, that's what I thought for a second. I was like, drink a puzzle box? What? Excuse me? What are you saying to me? <laughs> What's what? happening right now? <laughs> I did end up bringing the puzzle box in sooner than I initially thought I would. Um, it was you initially... did mention that to me. Yeah. yeah. It, it was going to initially be a item y'all find in the ruins, but I was like, you know what? This would be fun to have lead up to the ruins. So... Guess we better get cracking on not, it. Not right? that you need to finish it before then. It was just like a little thing where it's just like, well... I'm going to bring in these goblins. They're not going to have money. What can they pay you with? Oh, how about this puzzle box I had planned before? And where did they get it from? I don't know. The child has sticky fingers. I know where it would have come from. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, another big moment from session 30. Uh, Velky had his bangs tied up by Onates. He did. He did. That's true. That happened. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, it was almost yesterday. Um, basically. Like four weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, what was the big moment for, uh, for Valky on that? What made him decide to finally go through with it? I know. Yeah. So let's talk about yeah. that. How are you feeling cool. about your session with Ina? Wishing that I managed to get the second one. <laughs> <laughs> but again, we had to run. Um, yeah. Even even, felt... even if even if Clara said, I'm not angry, you don't know what that means for everybody else. <laughs> and we didn't hear that either, so. No. No, that's fair. Um, 
he he felt put at ease by it a little bit. He found it very helpful. Good, I'm glad. Um, and the hair thing felt just like it, what? Are you Goodbye. winning? I'm. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I was interrupted. Where was I? Uh, oh, you felt at peace? No, I said something after that. Dude, I had like a whole three words after that. What did I say? Fuck me. <laughs> that wasn't what you said. No. Yeah, fair. The hair thing, I think, is what I said last. Um, It felt like a good starting point. No, that's good. <laughs> you know? For... Okay, I wish I had my train of thought back. Thanks, Dad. Whoa. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> no, you talked to Ina about, well, somewhat about your hair, uh, kind of more on the lines of obscuring your vision or trying not to be seen, um, which you then, of course, decided afterwards, like, you know what? It's finally time to let the world see Velky as he is. Yeah, that was kind of the idea. And the world didn't blow up. It didn't. Imagine, like, you know, having that line of thinking where everything is... I don't know how to say the word. Uh, everything's a catastrophe in the making. Right. It's always going to be the worst possible outcome. <laughs> I mean, having huge trauma in one's life definitely makes you feel trauma. like... Yeah. <laughs> Um, which is good to go on this adventure. Uh, I definitely feel like it's what Velky needed. As horrible as maybe the things turning out with the church have become between Courage, Barry, the souls, and everything, at least as a person, uh, Velky is maybe healing. He so far hasn't, you know, made everything out to be a catastrophe, but um, I think that's also a balancing act between everybody else helping him through it. And him coming to terms with other things in his life. Right. Now all he needs is to find his friend. Yeah. Yeah. On, on a less emotional moment, am I the only one who hears Ina's name and immediately starts going, Someone's in the kitchen with Ina. Yes. Yes. Because you, it's you Dinah. Are. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know it's Dinah, but it sounds enough like Dinah that it makes well, it me did, go... It does, but I, I never thought about it before. Uh, no, I, I literally didn't think of that at all. So yes, you are the only one you answered. Yep. We answered your question for you there, Rose. The, uh, that is the point of asking a question. Yep. Voki pinning his hair up while we're on that. Uh, I can give the, the Anates perspective because something got Please. to come up from that. That me and Mel have talked about a few times. Okay. That has come up in conversation. Oh which one? Uh, and that's and that's <laughs> Onatase's, uh l love of hairstyling. <laughs> yes. In an alternate <laughs> life, in an alternate life, Onatase is a hairstylist. We have talked about Onatase becoming a hairstylist before. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That's the after campaign when we get to the end, and it's like, where's everybody ten years from now? Onatase is a king, but also a hairstyler. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, it's just like this weird thing of his character where every time Velky's hair came up, I was just like, Onatase would love to play with his hair. And I that's, think he and, has prior. <laughs> and that's yeah. just extended to now he just likes fiddling with hair. It's just part of his personality. Hmm. It has well, been a thing that he's always done is ruffling Velky's hair. He has always done that, it's true. Yeah, but that, that was less for, like, the hair and more for the, like... Yeah, but it's a affection. simple touch, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a touch the hair thing. Every time, every time we touch, I get the feeling that I like hair. Yeah. So, uh, how is Anate's feeling after his encounter with Madame Ina? Ooh. So, his encounter with Madame Ina is the whole reason he opened up about... Well, part of the reason... He opened up about uh, all the poop with his like inner darkness. <laughs> uh, Emo Edge Lord came out. His, yeah. his jump into Persona Four or maybe Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, is this, I, I, I know that we're talking. <laughs> the question <laughs> is: Is Ana taste the heartless or the nobody? Uh, 
How dare you ask not, me that I'm question? I'm not going to answer that question. I don't even think <laughs> I have an answer to that one. There's a lot of that. Uh, Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Uh, anyway, he, he was feeling very... Like, he didn't get a lot from it at first. Mm-hmm. She did a lot of kind of just telling him stuff he already knew. But telling him that he was already doing what he needed to do, he just needs to be less stupid about it. Right. Uh, I mean, in, in my defense, I had my plan up to what uh, she would probably talk about with everyone, and then you decided to go ahead and do that thing at the beginning of that very yeah. session. That's fair. <laughs> Which thing? What thing? Uh, the, the delve, meditation. the meditation, and delve into the oh, okay. <laughs> into his self to try and like talk to a reason with what's inside of him. I, I had no idea that Onatase was going to do that right before I started talking about it with an NPC. Hey, that made not. it better. Spicy. Uh, that was his whole like delve into himself on the cart was a last minute spot decision where I was like, yeah. But yeah, he was feeling very unsure, and then bolstered by Velky mentioning that he should uh, just talk to people, he should just talk to the party, he decided to just talk to the party. Yeah. Based on what Mina Mina said, and it worked out really well for him. If you're going to be a leader, you need to communicate with your uh, followers. I kind of joked uh, that he got his groove back. Uh, from that <laughs> that whole situation yeah I mean well done um have you Rose gone back and listened to everybody's no uh I haven't because I wanted them to come up naturally right I'm just wondering since everyone's more or less talked about their encounter if you've gone back since and Obviously, the answer is no. I thought I could now that everybody's kind of talked about it. I might. What about you, Mel? Have you gone back? Um, have I gone back? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, and after hearing what Lore said during the conversation, I was like, wow, the Lore decided to really not say anything, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He really did decide to be obtuse. Yeah, he decided <laughs> not to say a thing. <laughs> he said things and they meant nothing. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> Thanks, it's incredible. Jer. Yeah, no, it's incredible. Jared did a great job around that one. Um, I'm surprised no one... Have your characters just not thought about the fact that you don't remember what she looked like? Yeah, because nobody brought it up. But like, why would we? You know, I mean, like, Valky didn't think about it. It's like you come out feeling so fulfilled that you didn't even really question the weird part. Yeah, that's totally fair. On a taste, same thing? Rose? Hello? Oh, I see she is Oh, muted. she's muted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to tr I had to rotate the book in my hand slightly to see that. We'll get back to that in a second. Um, but yeah, I mean, Madame Ina is weird. I won't rule out the ability for you to find her again. Um, Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I I probably won't bring it up myself. That's probably going to be something that Velky needs to uh, go down on his own to do. Um, just because I got other things coming, so, you know. Unless I decide, hey, now's a good time to bring Madame Ina back. She was fun. Yeah. I might forget. Welcome about back, it Rose. Oh, hi. Yeah. Yeah, and so... also, fuck you. That's stuck in my head now, and I'm mad about was it. Was I getting talked to? Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, thought were... I, picked, I thought I picked a good time to, like,. <laughs> Because I thought Mel was getting talked to. Sorry, what's up? Uh, so I had mentioned um, how none of the characters had brought up not remembering what Madame Ina looked like. Yes. Um, 
And Mel had said that Valky kind of came out so fulfilled that it didn't even really occur to him to think about uh, the weird part of the encounter. Um, though I would say there's probably more than one weird part of that encounter for everyone. That was the weird part. That, Fuck it. That, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, was that kind of a similar case for Unataste to not bring it up? Uh, similar in a way that's like the exact opposite. Velky came out fulfilled so he didn't question it. Unataste came out questioning everything else so he didn't question that. Fair. That's fair. Um, I, I did that. You know what? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> you two had very opposite situations going in and out of that one. And it did though. Yeah. So, uh, still feeling like you got a lot of questions there on a taste. No, his talk with his friends really kind of helped him. Good. Good. That's good. Um, Maybe I do need to bring Madamina back just to have more weird stuff happening, such th such as that incense. I did like getting Which everyone's favorite smell. smelled like incense to Velky anyway. <laughs> yeah, it just smelled like incense for Velky. Oh, it's, it it's just smelled like kind. incense for Velky. <laughs> yeah, Velky's favorite smell was the smell of the church incense. I forget. Anatasis was the pond? Yeah, you straight up had your pond. It smells like chicken yeah. smelled like his <laughs> pond yeah if it's me it's, it's like weird it smells like popeyes in here it smelled like it smelled like home uh God, smells like lemon it, cake what would it smell like for me what's my favorite smell yeah what are your favorite smells what would it smell like for you A lemon cake i just said that. yeah God. okay fair you know what <laughs> i'm kidding i'm just fucking around. no it's fine i'll leave lemon i love the smell your of show lemon now. lemon is my favorite smell <laughs> I don't know what and coffee. it would be for me. I don't know what my favorite smell is. Uh, oh. There's this dish soap that smells like green jelly beans. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> so green jelly beans? So green apple? <laughs> well, no. It doesn't smell like green apple. It smells like green jelly beans. Right. That's, I can't. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, fair. Uh, for me, it would be gasoline in the early morning. morning. I'll bring a bottle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Mine is very different. <laughs> yeah, chicken. No, uh, for me, it would be gasoline in the early morning. Oh, yeah, I forgot you like the smell of gasoline. Yeah. Just because like of the smell of snow or dirt rain. Uh, just for me, because it's a very prominent memory of being on my grandpa's farm in the morning. It was like 6 a.m. and I got in the ATV um, to go ride through the fields. So, yeah, that time you almost died. Good shit. Yeah, one of the times. Uh, that was a <laughs> that was a fantastic <laughs> weekend. Multiple almost deaths. It's fine. Me understanding now that going 70 on an ATV isn't exactly safe. Um, mm. Yeah, weird. Once I grew up and realized how fast uh, kilometers an hour were. Um, yeah. How was uh, fighting without your armor there, Mel? Um, not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, see, I didn't kill you. Well, I didn't think you would. <laughs> I did enjoy everyone like, going to the performance I mean, without their armor. Like, Velky has a really high HP, so he's less concerned about himself than he should be on a good day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That, that uh, very chainmail armor that gets drawn a lot. Shut up. <laughs> no, <I'm, laughs> I don't expect you to You try, try drawing chainmail armor, you butthole. I have. I don't <laughs> want to ever again. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Mel, Mel doesn't draw team Mel. She just draws polo shirts. <laughs> you know what? Maybe. Or I edit a little drawing on top of something that's already chain mail. <laughs> you know yeah. what? Maybe if you go back to Irene, she can make you chain mail polo sh polo shirts. Like I don't want to. I don't want to think of Velky in a polo shirt. I'm going to be honest. With you. Mat 
Matthias's outfit just became like a sweater vest over a polo shirt. <laughs> it's yeah, like it was really hard. <laughs> I really said, fuck your character design, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You're like, fuck what you want. He gets a sweater vest and a polo shirt. Thank God Quills it's, was look, just plain armor. <laughs> listen. Next time y'all want me to draw chainmail, do it yourself first, and then be like, wow, that's really hard, and then proceed to not criticize me for it. <laughs> I, will, I will never criticize you for that. My, my characters don't wear armor just for you, Mel. <laughs> Look, and and to be fair, we talked about this, Michael, and it is in the cape, you know? <laughs> right, yes. Yeah, his armor um, is like built into his little robe. I'm glad you That's brought that. That's why it's that... purple on the underside. Glad you brought that up, Rose, because I messaged you yesterday at 11:46 a.m. and did not get an answer. So I'm going to ask you now: um, <laughs> What does Onitase do in the winter? First of all, if you message me at 11:46 a.m. <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. Oh yeah, you uh... asked us this question in the car too. <laughs> oh, you totally did message me. Um... <laughs> <laughs> First of all, no, you didn't. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Uh, okay, so was on. I, I know he has not experienced the winter yet. Oh, you know what's funny about this is I read this and I actually thought about it. Uh, and my answer that I, I guess just never sent to you. <laughs> that, uh, what, oh, okay, what, sorry, I missed my telepathy lesson today. Uh, was uh, it's a fantasy world, and unless you're gonna make a big deal out of it, he does nothing. Okay, that's going to be fun. Well, Velky is going to make a big deal out of it. He hates the winter. So. It's going to be ironic. By the time winter rolls around, you're going to be in the desert. Yeah, unless you're going to make me go out and buy winter clothes and ruin my aesthetic, he, he just dresses the way he dresses you just, now. You just get a new cloak that is so warm it overcompensates. Look, here's the solution. Strap Velky to Anatase's chest. <laughs> Look, the, the, second option, the second option here is I just get a third outfit done by Mel for Ana taste. It's right. So I mean, I do uh, I do hope we get to winter because I love winter outfits for fantasy characters. Me so too. Actually, you know what? I'm really I ready to design a winter outfit, but <laughs> I take my I take my forced ignorance back. No, he he wears winter clothes just because I want to make a winter outfit for him. Okay, good. I'm glad. Great Think mood. about that. Um, let me check so the we calendar. Do not strap <laughs> Velky to Anatase's chest. I not for that like, reason. You know how those, those little baby bump things, right? <laughs> you just hold him there, and then he's covering his chest. So he he gets warm, you know, and keep each other warm. Oh. just hanging back. Yeah, and his little <laughs> neck, you know? He's just wobbling his legs back and forth. What do you think? You guys have quite a while before it starts getting cold. Oh, no. Your it's current... unhinged, yeah. and I love it. <laughs> the little, like, bulky blip. <laughs> oh, hey, it's almost a holiday. Oh, what holiday? Yeah, it is. Uh, night festival. Oh, neat. Yeah, I better start making some lore about that one. <laughs> okay, well, I'll create um, winter outfits regardless, but I still think that that idea is hilarious, and I might just draw it anyway. <laughs> Oh, it's a, it's a very good what I'm going to have to do is uh, the f one of the future campaigns is going to have to be set starting in the winter um, just so we get it immediately. <laughs> future campaigns, hello? You're ready for Winterfell. Yeah. Hello? Or Winter, whatever the fuck you named it. I forgot uh, already. I can't remember if it was Winterfeld or Winterhold. Hello, no, it was Winterhold. Feld was my dumb idea. And then <laughs> Hold was better. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, Rose, there's going to be four campaigns, one for each season. Was this in my contract? I knew I should have read that thing. <laughs> it's not in the contract. You can jump out whenever you want. <laughs> um, it's just, I built this world with uh, four seasons, so, you know, not to be confused with the Four Season Hotel or Four Seasons Landscaping. Please do not sue or us. Or none of those things. Yeah, please, please, please don't sue us. Uh, it's you guys don't it's own the idea like the that there are four seasons, seasons in the world. Exist. Yeah, it's like the four seasons existed before these two things came to be. Yeah. 
So. Imagine. It's been long enough time. Now shall we take a look at art? I got art. Nope. Too yeah. bad, Mel. Here's a marigold <laughs> for everybody. Every time you try to get out of it. Uh, oh, I love marigold. Marigold is so Do cute. Do ever truly try to get out of it? No. Marigold's a good ferret. Very not good, as ferret. good as Not as good as ferret taste, but a good ferret. What a very good, totally normal, nothing weird about it ferret. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I've talked to this ferret. This ferret yeah. says there's nothing wrong. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. I, tr I trust this it ferret. It simply has one not black foot, you know? She, uh, I forget. She, he, he, they, uh, he. Is a boy. I got the boy. <laughs> yeah, I've talked to him. He, yeah. he's, he's normal. You, he just likes mice. You asked him, "Have you been other things?" He said, "Yeah." Oops. I said, "Were you originally a ferret?" He had no clue. Oh, that was an image that was in the corner for a second. <laughs> yeah, that's Based old. Based on what? <laughs> yeah, forgot. <laughs> Based? Based on what? <laughs> I can't believe that's still on here. I was like, image. Apartment complex. Apartment complex. I find it quite simple. But fire pizza. How's pizza gonna get a job then? That's not her voice. That was. Are we the... just gonna? Are just? <laughs> you just gonna do the voices for these? I'm yeah, come on, get Velkies in there, Mel. Yeah, okay. You're telling me a shrimp fried this right? <laughs> <laughs> based based on what <laughs> they're so good I love it so much I forgot I kept that because I was going to have everyone do theirs um, or at least talk about where I placed them if they agree with it or not and I just never did that again forgot it was there that just came out of nowhere All yeah, right. <laughs> thank you um, but anyway Marigold total normal uh, doesn't remember yeah. if it was always a ferret very normal it was a bat for a while there yeah, he's a good ferret. Yeah. He and is a ferret. Currently, and at least. And he's good. Yeah. Uh... I can't remember. Oh, I can say it here. I did ask Jerry if they wanted it to be a normal ferret or something to go on, and they decided something's going on with it. So now something's going on with it. Okay. Uh, I Schrodinger's know... ferret, to say. A thing we keep... A thing we keep... Damn that it. keeps getting brought up is the... The true polymorph spell ending. Mm hmm And I keep holding my tongue on whether I should say a thing. Go for it. But this is the talk, the talk show. So it keeps coming up that the true polymorph spell ended. If they weren't a ferret, they should change back. True polymorph is different from polymorph in that when it ends, the caster can choose to make it permanent or not, as long as it lasted its entire duration. Mm hmm So... It's very possible that it wasn't always a ferret. It just stayed a ferret because that weird pet seller was like, nah, it's a ferret now. Yeah, I mean, if only someone could have noticed the guy before he left. Oh, well. Oh, well. You've noticed the guy before he left what? That's... <laughs> we all looked at him. We noticed the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess then, like, pursue it and be like, hey, what the fuck? Also, give me like those scrolls. That, They're really valuable. In the face. Yeah, turns out he yep. was courage in disguise. Something weird, parents. I feel like if courage was in disguise, he would have done something a little more less like that. No, Probably. the parents are secretly dead bodies. It's fine. <laughs> it's just a pile of dead bodies. Jesus it's Christ. actually goo goo dolls. I no. mean, true polymorph <laughs> does let you change objects into. It does. Things. It does. That's a really fun thing um, that it can also change objects. Okay, and it can also so change people into objects. So you can make someone. It's into just a, a box. ferret bone. I guess you could technically like turn a ferret bone into a ferret. Oh, uh, don't don't say it's a bone. Jerry's gonna make it like their mission to turn it back into a bone. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that lore is not all about bones. <laughs> well, I oh, mean, no. like, you count, like, hey, but the, Okay, but the drinking oh, any, no. anything liquid shape has translated. The bones might, too. Right, Jer like, forgot what? the other thing they wanted. They wanted to upgrade their violin. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, beans. I'll have to oh, message yeah. them. Biscuits. I think they got a little preoccupied with this list of books in my like notebook here. Holy shit. Look. I loved that session just for Lauren Velke getting to be more friendly. To be canon now. Canon friends? <laughs> no, like like the, the the author of the book. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I thought yeah. you were re replying I, to me. <laughs> yeah, I am I am canon now. You are, you are canon. <clears throat> I do like this page for my notebook though. Velky and Lore discussed having the same dream. Talked to Cat and Kate, gave cups and sticks. Long list of books. Fucking cup on a stick. Yeah. It's just a cup on a stick. It's just a cup on a stick. Gave gold for that. I don't know why they were roasting a couple of the say Yeah, mmm, mmm. <laughs> yeah, you got some oh. shit to say about that, like, don't you? <laughs> this woman will single-handedly destroy the world's economy over two copper, but fucking all the gods be damned if she doesn't <laughs> spend 20 gold on a cup at the end of a goddamn stick. I'm so upset. But fuck paying your artists, right? <laughs> yeah, fuck paying your artist. She's she's out here like, well, I'm paying you an exposure, but at the same time buying cups on sticks. It's almost like she's her. a uh, an agent of chaos. She's awful, is what she. <laughs> um, are you guys curious on where they got all those cups on a stick? Nope. I like not. I like the mystery. You, you like of the it. mystery? Okay, I, I that's like, fair. I like the mystery, but I am kind of curious that she was like, I only have two, and then had, like, infinite. <laughs> Maybe she just can't count. Do you do you want the answer, or should I just message Rose the answer? You can give us the answer if you want. I was mostly joking. Oh, I don't she, really care either She way. was going around and getting stuff from other people and buying it off them. Oh. Tra trading money for cups. Oh, th so she wasn't just, like, going back into her... No, she wasn't. Cart? She went around the cart away from your guys' view and went to other camps and got cups. Amazing. And bought them. And then you gave money. Oh. Uh, no. Not that much money. However, after you then gave more money, uh, she went back and paid more for them. Cups are, cups are... See, this is how inflation works. Cups are going to become a premium resource and they're going to be fucking <laughs> 20 gold and it's all going to be shot as fault. No, it was like, hey, there's a. Can you give me that cup for a copper? Oh, yeah, sure. Here's a copper. Here's a cup. Thank you. And I was like, oh, I was given a gold for this cup. Well, I should go give the owner of this cup more money just because. Cause and effect, goddammit. Yeah. No. Uh, Sympath is all about like the charity and stuff and just helping people to help people and being there and so yeah. Helping people to help people as long as they're not blue tieflings that worship another god. Yeah. Valky didn't need any help. You don't uh, know that. Well, that's debatable. <laughs> he needs a lot of help actually. <laughs> Rogar is not a therapist. Rogar needs his own pet therapy. Came out of the second most traumatic experience of <laughs> yeah. his life. This and right then was expected to, like, you know, be okay. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Yes, they do have sympathy. sympathy. They have sympathy, except for when it comes to Velky. They're still people. It's okay. I'm not, it's normally, I would say they're still human, so they have faults. But, I mean, he wasn't a human. That's very... I'm going to fight Rogar. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He has his own trauma to deal with, and he's decided to push that into just traveling the lands and helping everyone with whatever they may need. Seems like he's actually just taking it out on Belki. <laughs> Very specifically, he's like, one day I'm going to meet a fucking blue tiefling. I'm going to be so rude to him. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> That's what happened. I don't know. I don't know, man. Why's it got to be so salty? <laughs> so rude. Listen, I guess Velky's people... never gonna help a dragonborn ever. There's, there's a couple different ways to deal with the trauma of your parents being killed by the blight. 
Actually, I think they pretty much just did the exact same thing, but in different churches. <laughs> <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Um, however, sure they both just looked for outlets to help people. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be able to use the parent death card to get out of this ass beating. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> oh my god! He's catching <laughs> this ass. This is just happening, no matter what. <laughs> Oh, it's happening. You're going to see him, like, helping a little girl pick up all the flowers she's dropping. You're going to rush gonna, in and just I'm going to run up and Superman punch him in the cheek? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh that's why you have to run right from right towns. Well, hopefully it'll be in between towns, so. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Oh, I need I need that to happen now. <laughs> I want to see that happen so bad. I want to see this weird sexually charged fight. We're going to go to a town. (laughs) But only on one person's side. We're going to go to a town with an underground fighting rink, and Rogar is going to be participating in it for some reason, and I'm going to fight him. He's going to be participating because the person who was supposed to fight broke an arm and couldn't compete, and he's like, no, we shall fight for your honor. And then that I'm would like, be extra funny. And then I'm like, I will give you every bit of gold in my pocket. Let me fight that man right now. <laughs> uh, God, I love this so much. Um, we're starting to reach to the end of our time limit. Uh, do you guys have any questions for me? Uh, yeah, if every character was an anime, what anime would they be? <laughs> anime? They can, they can overlap if you think they would be from the same anime. You've seen a lot of anime, so... <laughs> I have seen a lot of anime, holy shit. Um... You know I like to make you think about things too hard. <sighs> I mean, it's tough. The imagery I was going with on Anate's when he did his deep dive was very heavily Full Metal Alchemist inspired. Acceptable. Um, with seeing truth. Um, though I also make a lot of jokes about Persona 4 with like the shadow of one true self and everything. Um, I was going to say that technically doesn't count, but it does have an anime. I lied. Uh, Persona for the does anime. have an anime. <laughs> and it's a good anime, too. It is a good anime. Yeah. Mostly because they decided to give you all the joke answers, which just makes it so good. It's very mm. good. Um, and I have to avoid spoilers. Spoilers for what? The campaign or the, the anime? The campaign. Oh. I mean, you're right. Oh. So. (laughs) Ah. No, that's a spoiler. Shit. Uh, I'll message that one to Rose later. Um, Oh, yeah. Let's. Let's. uh, (laughs) Let's. um, I'll, I'll stick with that. Uh, On a taste is just heavily inspired by like Full Metal Alchemist stuff and uh, Persona stuff. Um, no, thou art I. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna message it to Rose right now. Oh, cool! I get spoilers. I mean, I think, I, I mean, I would like spoilers as well, but. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Well, I wish, wish oh, that was I, me. I'll, I'll pin this one <laughs> so when it comes to it, I can share it. Oh man, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> At least do this when I'm not here. Unless Rose is okay with me saying that out loud. Let's not get to have a rebuttal. Okay, fair. Okay, cool. Let's just keep doing it. <laughs> oh, Make okay. one request. <laughs> <laughs> You could say it, I don't care. Okay. Uh, that time I got reincarnated as a Ganassi. Oh. And my, that is and pretty my, funny. And my rebuttal was, so I'm a Ganassi, so what? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so that, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, 
though again not entirely as accurate as like could be it's Anatase is a weird one I'll say um, here's a weird one Mr. Grinch yeah you really are a heel or is it peel no it's a heel you really are a heel it's a heel like a shit heel <laughs> yeah. yeah you really are a heel cause the next thing is the slippery as an eel sure um, as sung by Tony the Tiger. Huh. Yeah, well, this went to some weird places. Yeah, I'm still thinking of the other characters. Easy one would be Matt's <laughs> being uh, One Piece, just because of the pirate stuff coming up. Matt or Zentris? Because I Same think Matt thing. would also fit really well in One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> just as a person in general. <laughs> Zen's One Piece, or as I in grade 6 called it, Nepek. Okay. I couldn't I couldn't read the typography, so I didn't realize some of the letters like the uh lifesaver and stuff were a part of the word, so I was only reading oh, the understand. actual letters. Yeah, that makes sense. And now you work with typography. Good shit, good shit. Yeah. It's made of rubber. How <laughs> that happened? Yo ho ho. He took, took a bite, a bite of, of No, he took a bite of demon blight. Um uh, Oh man. Why? I thought Alorn instantly went to Fruits Basket, but that's not true at all. I I don't know, man. <laughs> I haven't seen Fruits Basket. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you should. It's really good. The new one. Ah, the old one's still good. Just the new one actually completes the story. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, Mel. These are good questions. I know. I <laughs> I need to ask you really hard questions. You're welcome. Extends, extends our runtime for that ad revenue. Yeah, that ad revenue that I'm totally getting. Yeah. Uh, let me quickly look up every. So anyway, anime. this is sponsored by. <laughs> I I just I just really like it when I have to make Michael think really hard. Yeah. You know what I like to play when Michael's thinking of a question? Rage. <laughs> Rage Shadow Legends. Oh man! Mother of God. <laughs> Could totally just say Blue Period for Valky, but that's not true. That's just funny. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> that's cheating. He's not even an artist. <laughs> well, I don't think he would be an artist. He's a ballet dancer. Kind of okay, this yeah. isn't fair. I went to he my anime list, and in the top ten, Gintam is on there four times. Why? Oh my god, there it is again! <laughs> Have you even seen Gintam? <laughs> there it is again, oh, and again. Holy shit. It really wow. wants you to watch Gintama. Yeah, it does. No, that was my character, Michael, not one of the others. <laughs> it's like Mushi Shi. No, that was that was freedom. I like how they put um, both the Japanese and English at different points in the list. That's weird. That anime is not even out yet. This was the greatest question of all time. Yeah, because now I'm like going through every single anime <laughs> just to be perhaps like. Perhaps also the worst, <laughs> because this will take a long time. <laughs> no, it's great. Now I'm listening. Now I'm looking up every anime ever made. There's Gintama again. Holy shit. Michael, watch Gintama. Apparently. So long. Haikyuu's popped up enough times too. Uh, clearly, these are each individual season coming in, uh, which would explain yeah. why there's a million Gintama. Um, as I said, <laughs> there it is again. Man, there's just so many anime I've never seen. You know what? I'm kind of insulted, and by insulted I mean fake insulted that you didn't go Hoseki no Kuni for 
on its face. I don't know what that is. It's yeah, I've shown it to you before. It's the one where they're made out of crystals and rocks and shit. Yeah, that's Land of the Lustrous. That's fun. That's yeah, that's like where his cooties. that's where his cracking thing came from. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> were we watching that okay. at the time when that happened? No, we couldn't have been. I don't. Yeah, I don't no, think you we were watching weren't. it, but me and Mel were talking and <laughs> brought it. Doctor Stone. And then, yeah, because I okay. <laughs> Because I thought about it when he got the cracks, and I was like, hey, I love that manga. I think I could shoo that in somehow. <laughs> oh, here's a fun one. Never mind. On a taste is Tsubasa. Wow. That's fucked up. Um, I'm just going to say Laura's Beck, just because that's the first thing that's come up um, that is music-based. Not Your Lie in April? I haven't watched that. <laughs> uh, the... Ah, uh, you when know you what? Doctor... We'll go with the gay version, though. Uh, given for lore. When you said Doctor Stone, <laughs> Boy, no. I was like, "No, that was my that was my little cobalt dig dig." <laughs> he he was based on Doctor Stone. <laughs> Vaguely. Man, I still need Velky and Kashana, huh? Yep. What's just mm. the most chaotic Kashana Trigun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> where I where I appear chaos and yeah. <laughs> Good shit. Now we just need Velcro. Shot of the stampede. <laughs> if we could afford to have Johnny Young Bosch voice Kashana. <laughs> oh, that'd be yes. funny. That's funny oh, right beautiful. there. Gorgeous. I Michael's guess I could dream come true. I could have also gone for K-Own for lore just because another music based. Um, Literally any idol based anime. <laughs> Idolish 7. I guess. Oh man, we don't have any initial D characters. That's not fun. God, what is a Velky? Good question. What a great question. What is a Velky? Oh, what is Miserable a Velky? Miserable pile of secrets. Miserable pile of trauma. That too. I mean, I would like to think that he's more than trauma, but I understand why you're saying <laughs> just for the bit it's, yeah, it's true and he's in a he's he sure is experiencing um i think kashana just... is also very kakeguri i haven't seen that just accept it it's fine I'll it's just yeah, I'll accept lesbians it. lesbians making bets all of the time <laughs> Can can Velky be D Gray Man? Theoretically, I <laughs> he could. Because he got like church stuff in there. It's been a long time since I played D or watched D Gray Man or read it. Um, no, I, I can I can vibe with that. It's yeah, it feels pretty, similar. Pretty fitting. <laughs> yeah, it feels closer than I'll probably find anything else. Me thinking of, I love it. Me thinking of Church for Velky just just made me go Fire Force, and I was like, no. 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 God, that, was please. Just the first, like, <laughs> that was just the first church thing I thought of. Velky doesn't deserve this. Velky does a runner. <laughs> so, quick fire. breakdown on all of those again. Um, so, that was Onatas was... Uh, Apparently 600 anime. Yeah, 600 anime. What was that last one I said? Tsubasa? Tsubasa. Tsubasa. Yeah. Vel or on taste is Tsubasa. Velki will get D. Grayman. Um lore is many anime, but we're gonna settle on the gay one that's given. Um Kaon is also kinda gay, but not really. Um then we have Trigun for Kashana and One Piece for Zintris. So there we go. 
What a Thanks hard... for the indulgence, dude. <laughs> yeah, what a hard one. Man, no one's Prince of Tennis. We gotta start over. God damn. No, thank you. I mean, we also we learned that Velky knows a bit of ballet, so maybe Princess Tutu. Interesting. <laughs> just on that one aspect. Wow, there's an anime that's just called There She Is. There she is. Yeah, there she is. Two exclamation points. If you want a second question, it's just the exact same thing, but chip flavors. Chip flavors. I don't eat Chip enough flavors. chips. <laughs> no, that's fair. I, uh, I guess Velky is cool shit. ranch Doritos. Oh, uh, so those are the only thing that I can think of that are blue. <laughs> Great. Disgusting. Zintress is plain. Wow, rude. No, oh, natural. <laughs> oh, natural. The, the kettle pop version because he's fancy. Blue heat talkies. <laughs> That's pretty Kishana, fitting. I'll take it. Kishana's, uh, the, K Kishana's Funyuns, the chip of chaos. Lore is all no. dressed. Lore is definitely all dressed. Lore is totally all dressed. Um, Anate's is rock salt. <laughs> Himalayan, <laughs> Himalayan basalt. Himalayan sea salt. <laughs> uh, Anate's is, yeah, instead of, they use salt and pepper instead of salt and vinegar, because that is a Lee's flavor, salt and pepper. That is a chip flavor. Yeah, Anate's is salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yeah. Well, I think that's enough. Uh... Oh, <laughs> hey, Devilman Crybaby. There's a Velky. Oh my god. How dare you? <laughs> You're right, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we'll end it off tonight. Thank you both for <laughs> joining me through here. this um, <laughs> experience that tonight was. Yeah. Um,. Next time we're back, we'll be in game as y'all head over to Hawk Crescent to join into a sport game. A sport game. A sport game. Uh, and I hope everyone looks forward to the uh, season of our D&D campaigns that are just very obviously an isekai. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, what anime are they? Yeah. So... I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.
Thank you. 